What up? I'm back. <laughs> Man, I love this so much. Today is the uh, 2nd of June. I don't know why. But, um, what up? Let's fire, man. I'm sitting here looking at sunset, obviously, again. I don't know why I say obviously. I guess because I'm talking to myself. <laughs> so, obviously, I know what the hell I'm looking at. But, uh, it's beautiful, dude. It's fire. Like, literally. It's so cool, man. It's beautiful. The purple, the pinks, light blues, cloud formations. Like, oh, man. It's, like, it's worth it. Sitting out here, just soaking it in, like after today, and then I don't even know what I did today, man. Like work, uh, what else? I don't know. I don't have no idea, man. I don't know, dude. I've been hyped the last couple hours. I've been so hyped, man. Um, just because I've been able to listen to music and uh, do all the music that's been popping up. Um, just like such happy hype music for me like and um dude it really controls my emotions like I was thinking like dude I just need to talk about music tonight because dude, I love it so much and um it just makes me so happy it's so funny dude one day I was up at whatever and a cop pulled up behind me and I'm dancing making my truck shake making it bounce up and down you know acting like a juvenile man but I'm having fun, dude. I'm enjoying life. Like, what's he gonna say to me? Come up to me and be like, what are you doing? You're recklessly driving. I'm like, I'm not even moving, bro. <clears throat> like, I'm not recklessly doing nothing. I'm just enjoying life. This beautiful world that we live in and the time that I'm alive, I'm grateful for it. But it was so funny because the people next to me, they were like, dude, there's a cop behind you. It's like, I don't care, bro. <laughs> like, what's he gonna do? You know, I just kept dancing. They were just laughing. I was like, what, man? Oh, it's so funny. I, I left the gym last night when I got through working out and I was I was just dancing in my truck and uh, it was so funny the woman beside me she rolls her window down and she starts dancing too and uh, I looked at her and just smiled and grinned just kept dancing but uh, it's so fun man like it's like when I'm driving down the road and I'm enjoying myself I'm having fun I'm, I'm being safe I'm still super hyper observant, like more than the average human being. Um, at least I try to be. You know, I try to do everything safely and not cause any harm for other people or, or swerving the lane or nothing like that. But um, I'm having fun, man. I'm enjoying life and I'm enjoying time in my truck. This is my safe space. And then my music, yes, my music is loud. Uh, it's not as loud for me because, you know, listen to loud music over time, you know, damages your eardrums, but, um, I wish I could get it louder, but I don't want to spend money on it, I think it's loud enough, I guess, but, um, I would like to be, I would like my music to be louder when I'm driving 70, down the interstate, with my foot out the window, but it all works out in the end, beggars can't be choosers, and, um, I don't know, but the last couple of hours, dude, I've just been hyped as crap, bro, just, uh, I, I just got through working out. <clears throat> I went and did a, um, a sauna workout, and then I did the bands. I did a band workout, like, and it ripped me, man. It was rough. Like, I, obviously, I'm stupid, and, and I, uh, <laughs> I got the, the, the heaviest bands that they have there. And, uh, I was talking to another woman there. She was in the sauna next to me. And we were just kind of talking. I always talk to all of everybody there. And um, she said she did the bands too. And it was pretty rough. And I was like, yeah, it's pretty rough. I was like, we're going to see how this goes. Because I just bought the biggest bands that they had. And I was like, I don't, I was like, but I have a pride and ego issue. This is why I, I bought the hardest ones I could get. We'll see how it goes. I probably made a mistake. And she's like, yeah, we all have pride in ego <laughs> issues. I was like, yeah, we all do. But whatever, it was cool, man. But she did two. She did two sessions. So it, two sessions at like 40 minutes a piece. Like, that's rough. I've done two se sessions before, but I've only done um, like two rowing sessions, which were 15 minutes a piece. I've never done two yoga sessions. Because, dude, I'm, I, I don't know if I can. 
I, I really don't because I sweat so much and I go through like a gallon of water almost um, within a couple hours before and after like I sweat like crazy bro um, I'm dread I look like I got out of the swimming pool I look like I got out of the swimming pool but uh dude, it was fun man it, it, dude I feel so good like daring it it sucked and I told her when I got out because I got out and I was like you did two of those so, yeah I was like, dang, I said, you're a monster. <laughs> I said, girl, you're a monster. <laughs> but uh, I asked if she heard me cussing, and she, uh, she said no. She goes, she couldn't hear me cussing over her cussing. <laughs> but uh, it's funny, man. People are cool, man. I like people so much. It's so fun. And uh, I talked to one of the little girls up there. She's She just graduated high school, and we were kind of talking about college and stuff. And uh, airplane, helicopter. What up, bruh? Military helicopter. Being loud as crap. That moon, dang. The moon's fire. That thing is loud, bro. You be quiet. People are trying to talk. <laughs> People are trying to talk out here. Enjoy the scenery. But yeah, it was just cool, man. I was talking to this young girl about... She, she calls me Mr. Cody. That's hilarious. And um, that's two helicopters going in opposite directions. It's weird. Um, but she's just the nicest little girl, but she, uh, we were just talking about college and I, how I guess everyone gets like two, three years now, man. That's cool. I told her, I was like, enjoy it. I was like, enjoy it while you can. And we just kind of talked. Because I told her, I like, yeah, I went to night school a lot. I didn't get to do like the younger kid thing and go to college and like enjoy it like that. I didn't get to do that. I, uh, I was always working, so I, I went to night school for the most for most of it, and um, I never really had time to like hang out with kids or meet new people. And, that, and that's like in college, like I met a few people, but it tended to be older people, and uh, I would tend to hang out with older humans. And I've always um, like maturity level, intellectual level, I've always been with adults. Um, I don't know why, or smarter human beings at least. Like I've always been able to attach to smarter human, like more wiser human beings. Maybe not smarter. Um, just people that have more experience. Maybe that's what it is. It's we're attached to people with more experience, um, more and different experiences. Harder. Maybe I don't know. I don't know if harder is the term. Just experience, and um, I do that now. Like I. I always latch on to people who have um, more experience um, in this world than, I don't know, or different experience. I don't know, man. Just It seems like I, I just meet people with a lot of experience and different things. And, um, I don't know. I don't want to rank it, I guess. But now that I look up at, look, I don't know. Just older people than me tend to be. Maybe, yeah. But it's cool, man. But the workout was fire. It was hard. It was extremely sucked. It's, it was good though. I really didn't get to finish it because by the time I got to the, like the last thing, yeah, I was my body was done. <sighs> Next time it'll be better. Next time I'll finish it for sure. Um, it's just weird. It, it kills my shoulders. My sh I did shoulders yesterday, so that's why like, I, whatever. Because I always do everything so hard. It I can't. I don't know. Whatever. But music, man. I, I've been just dancing the whole last three hours, four hours. It's really having fun, man. And um, really just enjoying the moment, enjoying the time. Like, it just goes by so quick. And um, it's kind of early right now. It's like 8 or something. Like I said, I just got home. Um... I don't know. I'm excited for tomorrow. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to recall today. Right now. I don't, I don't really know. Other than like the last couple hours I've worked out. And um, just been having fun. <laughs> just having fun in my truck, man. Like, I, this is my spot, dude. And I, I would... Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I just meet so many people, and, um, lately, and this music is so big. 
music is so big to everybody that I'm meeting. And I feel bad. Like, I talked to this uh, filmmaker a while ago, and um, we were talking. He's like, dude, I don't understand how people don't listen to music. I'm like, dude, I have no idea either, dude. Because, like, I'm listening to music 24 hours a day. Lately, I've been listening to my talks, but now that I have music on my talks, there's music in the background. Um, so I, it's like the double thing for me. I get to listen to music and listen to myself talk. Like, it's fire. And um, the best of, it's like my favorite things in the world now. Like, now that I love myself, uh, I love spending time with myself. <laughs> like, it's so weird. Uh, it's so weird because I've been trained so much to not be conceited, to not be selfish. Um, but even when I say stuff like that, it triggers me. It triggers me to think that I'm being selfish. And it's like, dude, I, Cody, you're anything but selfish. Like, anything. Because you know who you are. You know what you do. And all these other people in this world do not. They don't know nothing about you, really. They don't see what you do with each individual. They don't see how you talk to each individual. They don't see any of this stuff. And, um... You're fired, bro. Like, you're good. But this is you and how you choose to live your life, not what other people see. And if you can sleep at night with that, then you're good. And I can. And I do. I know that every day I go through life and um, I look at it and I, I go, did I do something wrong? If I did something wrong during the day, I will apologize the following day. Um, to whoever or whomever I did something to. And lately I have not. I mean, like I said, I apologized yesterday to somebody for stuff that I think that I, I may be talking that sounds super cocky or something like that or just not delivered well. Um, but it's just like, I don't... I know every day and I, I hope one day I can wake up and not have to face this battle of Am I doing right? Am I being good? I'm not being selfish. I'm not this. I'm not that. Like, cause, cause I've been programmed, man. Whoever was in my life raised, you know, to each their own. Like, they did nothing wrong. I had to have the experiences so I could be facing them now and learning how to control them, learning how to overcome, overcome them, and learn, learning um, to get my true confidence. And I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't have confidence going on. It would have got my ass in trouble. But it would have got me in so much trouble. Because technically I was probably pretty confident in a lot of things except uh, relationships and love and, and, and women and stuff like that. Because I just never, uh, obviously, I didn't get the love from my mother or from anyone around me. And I didn't accept it either, but no one else. No one ever held me down either and tried to give it to me. And um, I, I watched this thing today on TikTok and it was about a dude who, who dated a uh, single mom. And the kid was acting up and the guy went in there and evidently had experience holding people, um, dealing with people that are going crazy or, or acting out. And he said he held this kid and he got him down and he sat in his lap and he just held him there. He says, I'm not going to let go till you settle down. Until finally, after some time, the guy was able to take it, take him, stop holding him so tight, and just put his hands on his his shoulders, and, and they just sat there. Dude, and I'm like freaking crying as he's talking because he's like the kid was just so angry, and ultimately all he wanted was love. And he said the kid just sat there. They just sat there for a very long time, and um. The kid just wanted to be held. Like, and that's me. And that's the world. Now that's me going out here talking to these other grown-ass men. And I'm getting it out of them. I'm getting it out of them. They're telling me. Because I'm having to be vulnerable. I'm showing so-called weakness. It's just vulnerability. It's not weakness. It's actually a strength. And I'm showing it to these men. And then these men will open up and say, Yes, like, ultimately, like, we just want to be held. Like, we want that you know because we didn't get it when we were younger and then we don't get it now like everyone just wants to be held 
Like, that should be, like, a rule. Like, every day you should... You and your wife or you and your kids, like, you guys just need to hold each other for one... Right before bed for five minutes. I don't know. I don't know what it takes. I don't know. I don't know. I've never been held. And maybe I was held when I was a baby. Yeah, because you're a baby. But, um... It's weird, man. I hung out with somebody a couple weeks ago, and... Her kids just wanted me to keep picking them up and holding them and dancing with them. And, um, and I did. Like, and it felt good. Like, it, it, but they just kept wanting to be held. And I was like, I didn't understand it then. Um, now I understand it. Now I understand it. That's what we all want. Because actions. Actions speak louder than words, you know? Always have and always will. And little kids, man, they need that love. They need that closeness. And then they need, they need it. And when they don't get it, when they don't feel it, and they know, like say you pick a kid up and you're doing all this stuff and you're not, they're not getting the full thing, but when you give them their attention and you're holding them, like, they, they simmer down. Because they feel it's real. And you're, they're getting all your attention, and that's what they want, and that's what they need. They need that real love, that real attention. That's all we need now as humans. It's just real love, <laughs> real being held, and, uh... Having someone you trust to hold you. It's crazy, man. That's kind of like music for me. That's, that's who's been holding me uh, my whole life. And I've told people this. Like I've told people, like, music has always been my greatest companion. Like, it's always been my best friend. It's never let me down. It's always been there for me. Like, it doesn't judge me. It just does what it does, and um, it controls my emotions. You know, it's just it. It's holding me. It's keeping me safe. Keeping me contained. That's weird, man. Like, It just, I don't know, man. I just love people. And it, it just sucks because I know that I've had to bend my own safety and security my whole life. And me and my little brother kind of talked about a little bit of stuff involving, like, me and my mom's relationship. And then him and my mom's relationship. And it was so much different. And, um, I mean, he was the baby. And it's not good or bad. It is what it is. And, um... Like I said, not, you know, you know, fifty percent of my relationship with my mom was was me, and then fifty percent was her, right? So if we didn't have a good relationship, it was both of us didn't know how to um, be adults and how to whatever, or how to even do the relationship. Like it's not her fault; it's probably more my fault than anything. Um, I did, but I didn't know. I didn't know any better, and um, I'm not. It is what it is, you know. It it really is what it is, and um. But I did. I watched another thing, man. Um. It's a girl talking about how she doesn't know how to have relationships, and then, <clears throat> and when you're like, you have a hard bringing up, like you 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 just forgive people for everything, and um, you just still love them. But that, and you don't know when to walk away from people. You just let things slide because you ultimately love the person and you don't want them to leave you. Um, so you let them get away with crap or treat you like junk, you know. And um, But it's just ultimately because you just love so much and you, you know. But you got to learn how to do it because you can never really have a good relationship if you don't know how to set boundaries and you just let people walk all over you. 
So I don't know. I don't know the right answers anymore. I know that I know them in my head, and I'm trying to implement them and um, get better. But um, I don't know. <laughs> this song is sick. I'm not broken. I'm just splitting too. But today was fire, man. I don't even know what I did today, bro. Like, I have no idea. I, I worked. Cut some grass. Um, I gotta be somewhere else all day tomorrow. So I, I, I was like, well, I'll go ahead and cut today. And, um, and I got a rental property I gotta go to Sunday, probably Sunday. And I gotta touch that up and cut the grass and do a couple other things. So I may do that Saturday. Um, and then spend Sunday and Monday somewhere else. But, um... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, the last couple, the, the last couple hours, bro, I've just been smiling, and I smile all day. I laugh all day. I, I can't. I, when I was cutting grass, I was listening to my talks, and um, my talk from last night. So I probably listened to it five times. Um, and I, it's just so much information for me so much information for me and um I don't know where this stuff comes from I don't know it's I laugh I laugh the whole time because it's like dude where did this stuff come from and I I say it when I'm talking like and then I still don't know like where the hell does this, these talks come from like where is this information coming from like why is this after this and like why am I talking about this like it makes zero sense to me it's like I don't have I don't per se have all this relationship advice like, like I've not had the experiences that I know of in my head but maybe I've had them um, in a different way like well I've just because uh, I growing up I've um this is why I know I'm a, like a controller that this is why I know I control things um and why I have a control problem or had a control problem and this is why I've I've chose to live my life now, um, not controlling anything that I consciously, I may still control stuff subconsciously, but consciously I try not to control people, I try not to control outcomes, I try not to control, of people, but just people in general, I try not to control any of it, um, I only could try to control myself, and the way I respond to things, and, um, it's super weird, and then I, I try and live, um, Based on feeling, like what do I feel like I should do today instead of, instead of what should I do logically, and that's kind of um, I'm just learning. Ultimately, I just I'm just trying to get practice of feeling, and then I'll have to shift back. And I, I'm using logic now, I really am, but I I don't use it as much as I used to. Well, I only thought about logic because when you think about logic, for me, I'm creating different logical stories in my head. And I don't want multiple logical stories. I only want one logic and then one feeling. And I want to compare that. I don't want 17 logical stories in my head and then feelings. Because it's going to outweigh. I just need one. Because um, that's where you start overthinking everything. You know, I, That's a waste of time and energy and you will mess up. And then you have an issue of not getting the result you want. and um, And then that adds to all kinds of stuff where well, you get disappointed in people people let you down stuff like that and I'm not I don't want any part of that anymore so like I talked to someone today and um they were just telling me stuff about somebody and I was like well just don't expect anything from them like that's the simple thing like um and that's kind of how I'm living my life I'm, I'm like I'm not I don't expect anything from anyone anymore. Like, I have zero expectations on you. Because I can't waste my energy on it. It's not a really, it's, and it's a waste. Because I can be wrong, and then if I'm wrong, then it's gonna affect my, my mood, and, and I'll be disappointed in you. When you're only a human, and you're gonna make a decision based on your, all the information that you have, and it's not right or wrong, it's the best decision for yourself. And I can't judge that. And, um, it helps keep me happy, and, and um, I hate to say 
detached. But it just helps me to be strong enough to control my emotions for me and not let your emotions or, or your actions affect who I am and affect my happiness. Um, you know, like if you're sad, I'm, I'm going to be sad. Just I don't want you to be sad. I, I, I want you to be happy. I want the best for you. I want... If I can help you, I want to help you. Like, times are tough, man. And um, life is tough. it's so stressful and I, I just hate it for people because it's just like man it's it sucks it really sucks and and um god I just feel so bad for people I gotta figure out how to fix this system I gotta pull out a Gatorade bottle go right back yeah okay but uh, I don't know man like I love people so much bro <laughs> so funny it's so funny. I don't know, man. It's... I don't know, dude. I'm still just hype. I just like driving around, bro. Like, I love just driving around and just... Jamming my music and just... Being in my own world and, um... Just being in my own world. But yeah, I was thinking a lot, like, listening to my talks and stuff today, and, um, talked to another customer today, and we didn't talk very long today, but, um, like I said, he's 91, and every time, every time I talk to him, he always talks about, um, how, I don't know, like, just how old he is, and, like, how much he's seen, and, like, He said he's, you know, he sees a hundred. Like, so he's 91, so he's got, he says he sees a hundred. I said, yeah, you got a hundred. You'd be a hundred, you know? And, um, he's like, you'll be 90 one day, too. I was like, yeah, yeah, I will. <laughs> he's like, and then you understand. I was like, yeah, I hope, I hope, I hope. That's a long time, bro. He's like, yeah, he's like, that's a long time from now, but you'll, you'll get there. one third of my life like oh that's you know like two more times my life to get to 90 like well not really but whatever close enough that seems like such a long time to live like I changed so much in a year like I can't imagine dude I cannot imagine 60 more years of this or 54 more years of this there's no telling what's gonna happen, bro. <laughs> that's so long. That's so long. I mean, like this time last year, I was probably I was like in therapy probably, and I probably didn't start group therapy yet. Maybe I did. Yeah, I did. I was in group therapy, and um, crap, my friend's dad died. We're close to now. And then my mom went in the hospital, like, in July. It's crazy, man. Time flies, bro. Actually, me and, yeah, me and, so me and the girl were talking about it today. And about, like, kind of, like, being in the hospital and all this stuff. And, and like, my mom, and she was kind of asking some questions about that. And um, asking me how my mom died, and I, I told her... And, um, but we both just agreed, like, they're sending people in there to die by themselves. And she told me a story about, um, her brother, and he went in the hospital, and he was sick and very bad. Like, they called the family in to say goodbyes, and then, um, after the whole family came in, dude, he got better. Like, he got better the next freaking day, man. Like, he was unresponsive and everything. And, and the brother said he heard everything. Uh, he remembers everything. and he was, But he got better the next freaking day, dude. And I was like, dude, this is it. This is what's going on. It's like, this government is such 
crappy people, man. They're sending people in there to die by themselves with no hope. And um, all they need to do is let the families come in. Like, we'll suit up and wear bug suits or whatever you want to make these stupid rules. And um, we need to be with our loved ones, man, and give them hope. But when they're locked in a room by themselves, like, on machines and stuff, yes, of course they're going to die because they have no freaking hope. They have no family. They have no love around them. So they're by themselves to suffer alone. It's disgusting, man. It's disgusting. And these people in power need to be punished for that. Like, truly punished. And they will. I, I will make sure that at some point in the future, they will be held accountable for, for their actions. Because this is, it's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. They just put left, put people in the hospital to die, man, and um, die alone. And all they needed was love, like literally. They needed their family with them, and the people that cared about them, to lift their spirits. Like this is literal, literal stuff. Lift their spirit. What do you think that that means? Like language means something, bro. Like language is real. Like, it explains exactly what it does, and then we do the exact opposite, and we're so ridiculous, man. So ridiculous. Makes me sick. I don't, you know, whatever. Like I said, dude, I've, I've emailed everybody. I've looked into everything, man. At any point in time in my life, like, I go ham, bro. I go ham. I haven't in the last year looked at a lot of other stuff, but... I've been focusing on healing and, and self-help and all that stuff and now I'm giving my myself time. I'm talking to myself. Like this is this is it. Like this is my new journey. This is my new academia. This is my new scholarship. This is my new college. This is my new intellectualness. Like this is what I'm doing. I'm giving myself time to talk about whatever the crap wants to come out and I'm have no control just let my brain dump oh it was funny because i was telling my little brother about it i was like dude i didn't even know this was called a brain dump and um until i met this random kid and he told me about it and i was like oh well that's what i'm doing i'm brain dumping everything and um i didn't know it was called that i just started doing it and it makes me laugh like all this stuff makes me laugh and i was thinking about colleges and schools a while ago i was like at some point some human was just like me and they would just sit here coming up with these ideas and that's how they became a therapist. That's that's how we came up with the curriculum of therapy because someone was, hey, this is a good idea. I like it. This, this these, these are my thoughts. And then we make a curriculum out of it. And then the same thing with all professions, like somebody started it. And so what I'm saying is, the, the point I'm saying this is because now Like, why can't we just teach ourselves this stuff for free? Like, so, so now we have to go pay 40K a year, 30K a year, or, or, or just money in general. Like, for, for, for what? For something that you can get for free and become efficient at it? And um, but then you got to pay so you can get some accreditation from some random school? Like, that's just making profit? Like, it's ridiculous, man. Which puts your parents in debt, puts these kids in debt, puts us in debt for the rest of our lives. It's so disgusting, man. Just so we're, we're controlled by the system. Until we die. Like, it's so... It's messed up, bro. Like, they did us wrong. They've done all humanity wrong. They've put chains around our feet, and we didn't know it. They created a system that just locks us up in prison, in a, in a prison that we think we're free in, and we're not. We're not free to do anything. Everything costs money. You can't even get water without money. You're not even allowed to collect rainwater in areas. Like, you can't even... 
can't do anything. Like, it's disgusting. They monopolized living. They really did. And they put all these controls and repercussions on it. Like, if you if you don't abide, like, then you can't live and you can't survive. It's so disgusting, man. And if you don't think this way, then we're gonna, you know, if you don't agree with us and you don't do what we tell you, then no one's gonna like you, no one's gonna do business with you, you're not gonna be able to eat, you're not gonna be able to survive, like, it's anything but love. There's conditions on everything. There's conditions on you being alive. You have to do this. You have to do that. You have to act this way. You have to work in this job. You have to... It's disgusting, man. That's not free will. That's not love. That's not free experience. This is... You have to pay for every experience. Like, it's so weird, man. I don't know why we can't see it. I don't don't know why the masses don't see it. That someone's in control of your life. And it's not you. It's so disappointing, man. So disappointing. You're in every government. Is doing it to the people. Every state is doing it to the people. It's lesser on the state level, and, and depending on the state you're in, it's lesser. Um, you know, like Texas is pretty decent. Tennessee is actually pretty good. Um, but it's just disgusting, man. It's disgusting. And then, you know what kills me is like... Life. And people's struggles. And um, people are just trying to get by, dude. And they can't. It's impossible. Like having to choose between this and that. And food, like... What bills are they going to pay? Like, it, it makes me so sick. Like, I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Like, this system is broken, bro. And it's so broken. And, um... I just want to help people. So I guess I got to go... I got to go figure out a way to... I don't know, man. I don't know. It just kills me, man. Cause, cause, what sucks is like the financial strain on people is affecting so much more than just basic needs. Like it, it's affecting their mental health. It's affecting their physical body. The stress. You know, the fight or flight mode survival mode that they're in all the time and um it affects the kids you know it affects um like parents that are um in fight or flight all the time they they can't nature and nurture anyone because they don't have anything left they're in fight mode they're in survival mode so they can't even um love their kids the way that they just they need to be loved and then that just creates a cycle um, forever. It's so disgusting, man. I don't know how to fix it. I don't know, like... It's just ridiculous, man. I don't get it. And it's so difficult for single mothers. Like I said, dude, I I lived it. I watched it all, so I know. And even though my mom didn't tell me everything, I, I watched a lot more than she told. I saw a lot more than she told. Um, hmm. 
like, 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 like me and my little brother just laugh at it now. Uh, like, because to us, it was just regular. The struggle was regular. It wasn't even a struggle. It was just regular life. Like, it was just regular for us. It was funny for us. But, um, but now I see it in other people, and it's just like, God bless, dude. It kills me. It truly kills me. Like, what do we do? Because they don't have time for nothing, man. And yeah, they created it. I get it. But they created it... On the basis... You know, a lot of times they, they don't have any ill will. Like, it just happens. It's not good or bad. It's just, it's life. And, um... And then, then they're trying the hardest they can. And, and they're trying to... They're treading water, man. And they're so freaking tired. And they're trying to get to the shore and they're doing the best but they gotta go swim back and grab their babies and they gotta do all this stuff like it's difficult and there's no end in sight and um it's just frustrating cause it I've watched it and they're so strong like single parents are freaking fire dude they're so strong And I look at it like I, I hate to compare myself to people, but they're so much stronger than me, man. And they still gotta wake up every day and do what they gotta do. Like I've been a scrub, <laughs> you know. I've been a scrub, bro, compared to them. Now I feel bad because it's like if I would have just been working all the time, then I would be financially capable to help other people more. So like, I need to get back to work so I can do that. So I can sacrifice some of my time and my energy to help other people uh, in need. And um, so I really gotta go start making a lot more money again. Instead of just barely getting by, you know? So I'm capable of helping people with um, financial things. Because people deserve help. They need a lift up. They need people who got their back, man. And, and they can help push them over the edge and help them um, just get over these rough times. And then they'll be okay. And um, reevaluate some things and maybe, I don't know. But it just sucks. I think about my mom. So since 95 until my little brother left. And then even then, she was still, the damage was done. And... It's just, it's sad, like, she could never get back ahead, like, that's the whole point, it's like, once you're so far behind, like, you can, you got, you're raising kids until they're 18, and then you're taking care of them, you know, until they're 25, really, and then, you know, like, they the single parents don't have time to go to school, you know, to get a better education so they can get more money based on this stupid system in this world. Like, it's just, it's, it's crazy, man. It's, everything is just rigged. Rigged. Everything is just rigged, man. This whole system is rigged for failure. And to keep you trapped. Keep you in the courtyard of this prison where you can't get out. Where you think you're out there, but you're not. You got these shackles that you can't even see, man. You got these shot collars on your neck you don't even know exist. You got some random human beings holding the button that you, we've never even seen. It's disgusting. What up, dear? Chillin'. It's so funny these deer around here don't even care. Like, they ain't scared of nothing. But they're protected here. Nah, we got turkeys here. We got a bunch of turkeys. No, you know, we don't kill them here. We may have to in the future, but right now you guys are safe. But not really. We don't have to kill them. All, all our needs are taken care of. <laughs> but I love people, man. They make me happy. They make me happy. 
all of them all their struggles everything like it just it's beautiful i hate i hate that people are struggling i hate um to hear it in their voice i hate for them to be upset i hate for things not to be working out the way that they hope it to work out i hate that it's not easy um because i know all those feelings the overwhelming feelings and the no options and I have no options. But I can't. I can't see over this hill. Like I, it, This mountain is so big. There's no way. I'll never make it up this mountain. There's no way. I've heard stories about what's on the other side of the mountain. But there's no way I can make it. I'm not strong enough. I don't have enough provisions. Like I'm not, I can't make it. I'm going to try. But I have to rest here for a while. Cause I'm tired and I, gotta, I can only move a little bit at a time. That mountain's so big. You know? It's just like, I just want to be able to like, okay, I'll carry you up that mountain. I got you. You're worth it to me. So I just have to get stronger in me so I can, I'm capable of helping people. Maybe I'm capable of making the mountain, making a path. So the path is easier for these people to go up and down this mountain and get to the other side where they need to be. Maybe that's kind of my purpose, is to form a path. To go ahead and build a path and lead, and lead a path, the easiest path up there for them. It's still not going to be easy because it's still a freaking mountain. But maybe I can clear it out and make it as easy as possible for them and show them the way. And give them provisions on the way so they can make it and not leave them behind. Let them know that there is someone with them when they're climbing this mountain. And maybe I can't carry them up the mountain, but I can clear it out for them and I can walk with them up the mountain. Hell, I can even help push them up the mountain. Because it's just a mountain. You know? It's just a mountain. You keep moving forward every day. You make it at some point. You have to. The only way you're not going to make it up that mountain is if you stop and quit. Now I ain't going to let you stop and quit. And people deserve that. People deserve someone to... be there for them, to check on them, just to make sure they're okay. They really do. And just to know that, you know what, it's going to be okay, don't worry. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's easier said than done, but... It's always easier for you for someone to tell you not to worry because they don't know. Like, I don't know the particulars of everything. I don't know how you feel in your head. I don't know this. I don't know that. Like, <sighs> but I mean, I'm living a life of whatever happens, happens, man. And we'll be able to face it when it comes, and we'll figure it out, dude. Because as long as I'm still alive and breathing, then that's that's a blessing. I'm grateful for that because that means I have more time. And I got to be thankful for that. I got to be thankful for that. What's up, dear? Doe, a deer, female deer, Ray. I don't know, this moon is fire though. It's like a triangle right now. I have the moon and then the two stars. It's like a perfect triangle. The moon is so cool. I, uh... Puts off its own light, man. I've studied the moon. It's crazy. It's colder in the moonlight than it is in the shadow. Meaning that the light, the light from the moon is cold, cold fusion. 
We need to put off its own light source. I mean, it's not charged by the sun. Like they tell you. Well, it's not the reflection of the heat coming off the sun. But this world's crazy, and there's a lot of information we don't know. I wish I had a carrot. What if deers eat carrots? Hey, you eat carrots? <laughs> nah, you don't eat no carrots. But, I don't know, man. Today was cool. I'm trying to think what happened this morning. I know I'm done. I, I know my cycles are getting done, and I'm fixing to have to leave someplace. I'm kind of sad about it. Um, but I just can't. When my time is done, and um, I feel bad. I always feel bad leaving people, but I'm not here forever. Like I, I can't be here forever. Like my healing journey is is. It will last forever. But I uh, I gotta keep growing, so I gotta I have to have new people in my life and I gotta have new experiences and um all this stuff. So whatever. I just gotta sit down and kinda figure out a lot of stuff. And um I don't know, man. I'm actually super tired still. Like, I don't know why I, I can't. I slept good, I thought, but then I wake up and I'm just so tired and drained. I don't know what it is. Maybe now, maybe it's, maybe it was because I wasn't working out, and so now it takes a couple days. Like, once I start working out again, I get, I start feeling better. And my water intake gets increased. I, I feel better. And, uh, I guess I gotta make sure I eat enough food and protein. But yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think. There was some funny stuff, or some really good stuff from yesterday talk that I was just gonna try and talk about a clip out. Um, Cause I, when I go inside the night, I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go deal with that stuff. And try and post some. Some videos, I guess. Um, since I'm not gonna be painting <laughs> the next couple nights, I'm gonna um, post stuff, new stuff, new videos of me painting on TikToks. I think break all that down. I don't know how else to do it, you know. And that's that's what's so crazy is like I talked to another YouTube person, and um, they were telling me this this happened a while ago that. That they have to watch other people's content just so they can keep up with the times and like keep up with getting sponsors and, and put out what the what people want and i'm like huh. like i get it but to me it feels like you're selling your soul you know because you're going against your authentic nature of who you are and then when you do that like you're ultimately going against your makeup and you're going against yourself and um, that's what that's why you don't want to do it anymore because you you're lying to yourself and you're having to go against yourself and so that's where you clash and so for me it's like I understand I can um, what people like on TikTok but to me that makes I don't care like I'm doing it my way I'm doing my YouTube my way I'm doing my whole life my way. And if it affects people, it affects people. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Like, I don't care. If I fail at this, which there's no point. I can't fail because ultimately my goal is to do this for myself. But I'm doing it my way. And um, I can't. I, I really can't. 
sell my soul. Like I, 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 I might as well quit if that's the case. If I, if I have to start watching other people's content to see what other people are watching, like who, who cares? I don't care. I don't want your views. I don't want. I don't. I don't want care anyways. Like I want people to be happy. And I hope that they can take something from this and just know that, like, give yourself time. Look at yourself. Quit watching my stuff. <laughs> like, I do watch it, but, but don't watch it seven times like I do. Like, instead of watching my stuff twice, watch my stuff once and then go talk to yourself. Go spend time with yourself. Don't brainwash yourself with my content. Like, please. Brainwash yourself with yourself. Love yourself. Hold yourself. And that's what I create. I, I, this is like me holding myself. And I, I've always had to be my own safety and security. My whole life. I always have. Um, like, even like when I got hurt, my mom would take me somewhere. Like, yes, she made me feel better because she's my mom. Like it was cool to have someone to go with you when you're sick and you don't feel good. Even as a grown-ass man or an adult. Um, just to let you know you're not alone and that someone, she does care about you. She take off work to go with you to the eye doctor because you got scraped your eyeball. Like, that's cool. Or she would call me and be like, if I got sick or something and they found out about it, she'd be like, you want me to go get you some food? You okay? You want me to go get you something? Like, that's cool, man. That's fire. And, um... But ultimately, like I'm, in, I'm always with my own safety and security. And this right here is like me holding myself, me loving myself, me giving myself time, um, because no one else did. No one else does. Like, and it's so crazy because, like, <laughs> the more I think about it, it's like, dude, like, no one hardly e even reaches out to me. I'm usually the first one, and I'm fine with it. And I understand it 100%. Like, I understand people are busy. And that's why I don't like to bug people. That's why when I check on people, I'm like, I hope you're okay. If you need anything, holler at me. Like, I'm serious. I'm not lying about it. Like, because ultimately, I guess I just wish that there was real people that would do that to me. But they don't. But I'm okay with it. I, I understand. Like, they're busy. They have kids. They got families. They got lives. And ultimately, I don't, I, I don't want people to sacrifice themselves for me. I never have, never will, never want to. Um, but it's nice when people reach out and at least acknowledge that you exist, and that call you and really don't want anything in return, other than your time, or to make sure you're doing okay or doing well, doing doing good. And you're gonna make it. And so that's what I try and do to other people, even though I don't know how they take it. Maybe they think I'm being um, too much or too needy or have some weird alternative motives. And I don't. Like, that's what's so funny. Maybe before I did. Maybe because I, I, I liked you or wanted to spend time with you. But now it's just like, fuck it. <laughs> like, I want to reach out, but then at the same time, it's like, what's the point? You know, if you want to talk to me, call me, text me, I'll listen. I have no problem. If you need help, ask me and I'll help you. And it's not that, it's, it's, I'm not, it's not my job to help you. But I will. And if I, if I mention I would, will help you, then, then I'll help you. I know it's not my job. It doesn't mean I don't want to help you if I can. And maybe I can't help you all the time. And maybe I can't help you that much. But I can help you a little. Every little bit helps. You know? But I don't know, man. Today was cool. You know what I... It's so funny 
Because my talk last night, I was talking about the past and um, how I'm... The, the one reason why I'm capable of being happy all the time is because I'm not dwelling in the past. And I'm not dwelling on the what ifs and what could be. And I'm ultimately just not living in regret. Because if you dwell in the past, you're always living in regret. And that's not positive at all. That's not, you can't be happy and regretful. It gets impossible. So instead, I just deem the past perfect and whatever happened, happened and is the way it's supposed to be. And uh, I got everything I need. Right now, at this time. I'm good. I'm not fighting, I'm not dodging bullets. I'm just here. I'm present. In this moment, looking at the moon, <sighs> talking to the deer, talking to myself, loving myself, holding myself, listening to music. I'm grateful for all of it. I'm so grateful. Like, it's so weird. This is just. It's so weird to form a habit like this. Um, like I can't see any negativity from this. Like what else would I be doing in this time? Like what would be greater? What would be a greater use of my time than this right now? An hour a day. I'm at about an hour right now talking. Hour and one minutes. Hour and two minutes. Like what? Like what else would I be doing? What would be greater than this? Than giving yourself one hour a day. Like you put the kids to bed. Like you go sit in your bedroom. Or you sit in your closet. And just give yourself time. No, no other technology. No TV to distract you. Maybe just you in a journal. Maybe just... I don't... I'm telling you, I like the talking thing because it's easier. Because you can just speak and you don't have to think about spelling. You don't have to, and for me, spelling is rough. And, um, and you can instantly re-listen to it when you're done. You know, yeah, we'll put one headphone in. Pick a song. Or just run through songs. Don't... The only reason why I don't listen to multiple songs anymore is because I don't like the way it changes my mood. Um, it makes me super, like, scatterbrained. Like, I don't like it. Um, so that's um, when I'm talking or when I'm painting. Because this allows me to attach to one emotion or one thought or one constant vibration. It's not changing. And then I, I build the patterns in my head. Um, and then I, I learn the song completely. Like I learn the ups and downs, the story with it. Because ultimately music for me is always a story. Um, and it goes back to the Strobe song by Dead Mouse, which is like, it's a journey. Um, you know, it starts out whatever and then it takes like, three minutes to build and then like it's dude and then you're going through like the climax and then like that the rest of the way like th that's my life like 35 years was the first bit of the song and then like the rest of it is just non-stop just excitement like this is it I made it finally and it's never gonna stop it's never gonna slow down it's just it it's just hype forever <laughs> But I had to build up, and I had to learn all that stuff, and then um, I had to get past that initial three minutes or whatever. And then now the rest of my life is, um, is fire. <laughs> I was talking to my little brother, and uh, he said they were down here, and then they listened to one of my talks on the way home. And um, <laughs> actually, like the, one of the first things we talked about was like he's like he's like I gotta know why that woman spit on you and punched you. That's why I kind of told him exactly what happened. Um, 
And ultimately, I told him, you know, yeah, I was, I was, um, poking the devil, kind of, sort of, and, um, but, I just needed to know, and she just didn't like me, and I, I didn't do anything mean to her. I literally, literally just asked her if she knew who I was. <laughs> like, you know who I am, don't you? And um, she did not like me. She did not like me at all, bro. She did not. It was hilarious. So funny. But that, so what were we talking about? Were we talking about that? What else did we talk about? Oh, see, it's, but, oh, so they, so they, um, during that talk, I think it was girls' night, girls' night, and then the kiss, whatever, after I kissed the old lady, <laughs> but, um, the kiss had changed it all, um, he was laughing, because he, he said, I said fire, like so many times in that one, but that, but that was a different emotion. That was a different night. That was a different talk, and um, and so like subconsciously in my head, it's like I'm kind of dude. That star just disappeared, bro. Where'd you go? And um, must just be clouds, I guess. But um, they said they were they were pretending to play a drinking game. <laughs> Of every time I said fire, they'd take a drink. <laughs> He's like, we'd have been drunk. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I said fire a lot. And I did say fire. I didn't even know where it came from. He said it was like the generation after him says fire. They think it's cool or something. I don't know. I just started talking. And when I started talking out loud, like, it came out. Because in my regular life, I never say fire. Even now. In my regular day-to-day -day life, I don't say fire. I don't talk this way in the regular world. Like, I don't get it. Um, I'll catch myself if I start, if I repeat, if, like, if I'm talking to somebody in the daytime and something in my, in my talks comes out, it will come out this way. It will come out the way I'm talking now. So I will say fire then, but ultimately, in my day today, like I don't say fire much. I don't say weird. I said weird the other day, and um, the, the girl was kind of making fun of me. She's like, "What you say is a weird?" And so I just literally just continued to repeat it just like that, because I caught myself and I knew I was like, "Well, I'm not changing it now. Like it's weird." Um, but it, yeah, so it's it's weird, and I did finally go weird. I had to slow my brain down and um, really phonetically speak it. But, but, but a lot of it is because during the day, I have more emotions here. Um, I'm more emotional here by myself um, than I am with humans during the day. Um, because I'm so busy during the day protecting myself from them um, and their emotions and um, not focusing on me. I'm focusing on them. And so when I'm here talking, I'm focusing on me and my emotions. But during the day, I'm focusing on their emotions and um, trying to best serve them with my words and my thoughts. Um, what I need to say and how I need to say it. And so um, it's just a lot. It's a different life. Um, it's I'm just two of me, like this song. You know, I'm not broken, I'm split. And it's kind of like that. It's like I'm split in the day because I'm focusing on other people, and humans, and how I can help them. Or how I can inspire them or how I need to carry myself um, to reflect what I need, they need in them. And then at nighttime, and when I'm at home, or when I'm painting, or when I'm by myself dancing, getting hype or whatever, like, that's the other version of me. Um, because I'm focusing on myself. You know, and a lot of that is I hope... Um, I know for a fact that... This version of Cody is the best. For me. And this, this version of Cody... Uh, at night... And when I'm focusing on myself... Will be the version that my wife will get. 
uh, this will be the version that um, my kids will get. Not everyone in the world gets this version. They can't. And they won't. So the more I give myself time here, the more comfortable I am here, and then that this version I'm just building up better and better for me and my, ultimately for my wife and my kids. Like they'll get this version. This is the best version of me. This is the smartest version of me. This is the most intelligent version of me. This is the most loving and caring version of me. The most understanding version of me. With the one during the daytime is not. It's the best version for them, for other people, and it's getting better every day. But this right here is preparing me for the next day. This time that I'm doing now is um, is my schooling. Like I talked about earlier, this is my practice for the following day for when I meet humans. But I'm my teacher now. I'm my best teacher, and I'm just spending time with me, which ultimately is spending time with my creator. If he wants to teach me something, he'll teach me something, and he's teaching me stuff all the time right now. If he wants to take over, he can take over. It's his. He's in ultimate power, ultimate control, and if he wants to do whatever, I'll let him do whatever. I don't, I can't stop him. I'm willing, whatever. He knows best. I'm just trying my best. But he knows best. But today was cool, and um, <sighs> yeah, a lot of it was just like really listening to my talk from last night. And um, I don't know where this talk goes. Like, I don't even know what I talked about tonight. Like, it does, to me, looking back at it, it kind of seems all over the place. And, it, and every day, it just feels like I, I'm not putting out good information but then when I listen to it it's like this stuff is good for me um, I hope people like it I hope it's good information for them it's just random talks um, I don't know I hope it helps people I really do I don't I don't know what it would help people with but I don't know I live in the now so it's weird life is weird in the now it's so different it's so different. Because I don't worry. Like, there's no worry. It's like, focusing on the now, like, what can you worry about? Focusing on the time you're in right now. And I'm sitting in my truck. There's nothing to be worried about. Like right now. Like you could play make em ups. But like really, like what? Right now, what? I'm alive, bro. I have more time than the time right now. And I, I could die right now. You know, it would be done. But who can, like, but. If, if I die, then it's over, and I don't know. So it's like, why am... There's nothing to worry about, like, right now. It'll all work out. And you just surrender. I don't know, bro. It's crazy. But I'm gonna go inside and go to sleep. And, um, go to bed early tonight. Go to bed early. But today was beautiful. I don't really know anything else to talk about other than. Yeah. Tomorrow's a new day, man. Make the best of it. Wake up, be grateful that you woke up and you get another chance at life. You get more time. And uh, if you got kids, like, be grateful that you have kids, even if. No hell raises, you know what I'm saying? Like, because I don't have kids, but I wish I had kids.
And maybe when I have my wish, I, w I won't say that all the time. But, um... I just welcome it. I welcome life. Like, it's fun. The good, the bad, the ups, the downs, the struggles. It's really fun when you look at it, man. And music. I love it. Music is fire. Music is eternal. It's vibration. Music is eternal. Eternal vibration. And vibration is love, because love is alive. And vibration is alive. Movement. Always moving forward. And vibration music is always moving forward, projected forward. Like, no matter what, like if you play it backwards, it's still going forward in time. Like, vibration is eternal forever. Music is eternal forever. It's always pushing you forward. That's cool, man. I don't know. I'm out. Night. Peace. Love y'all.